Now let us see whether the area of contact it affects friction or not. So far, we have learned that friction is caused by the surface irregularities or the adhesive bonds between the molecules at the contact surfaces. Therefore, it appears quite obvious that more is the surface area in contact, the more will be the effect of friction, right? Okay, so now let us verify this by doing a simple activity. So here we have three blocks, a cube, a cone and a cuboid. And each of these is of same material and equal weight. But then you see all of these are of different shapes and they are all lying on a table. So you can see that all these have different areas of contact. Now I drag them one by one using the spring balance. Such that they just begin to slide. So what do I find when I'm dragging each one of them? Yes, I find that in each case, the force which is required to drag these blocks, it comes out to be almost the same. And as you can see here, the spring balance, it shows a reading of 40 grams, which is equivalent to approximately 0.4 Newton. Well, this shows that the area of contact does not actually matter. And this result is contrary to our notion. So isn't it strange? And what do you think would be the possible explanation for this? Just think about it. Okay, so if we were to compare the case of any two blocks, let's say the cuboidal block and the cubical block. So as you can see that in case of the cuboidal block, the area of contact is large as compared to the cubical block. And you might be thinking that a larger area of contact between the surfaces, it would create larger frictional forces, but then this is not true. As when the area of contact, it increases, the pressure between the two surfaces, it decreases because of the fresh pressure per pressure being the force per unit area. Now it states that the larger the area, lesser is the pressure. Thus, the effect of increase in friction causing area, it is exactly neutralized by the reduction in pressure between the two surfaces. So here, we have less pressure between the two surfaces in case of a cuboidal block and more pressure in case of a cubical block. But then now the question arises, what do we mean by this less pressure and more pressure? Well, less pressure it implies weak bonds between the molecules at the contact surfaces while more pressure it implies stronger bonds between the molecules at the contact surfaces. So what can we infer from this experiment now? Well, we can infer that friction it does not depend on the amount of surface area in contact between the two bodies, right? 